Uh, I enjoyed the film when I watched it the first time. I watched it actually uh, in Armenia, in the Golden uh, Army Cup. And uh, for me, you know, when I watch that kind of film, it's always very hard for me. Because it, every time I watch that kind of story, uh, like I feel like somebody's grabbing my heart and squeezing it. So it, it's like, it's, for me, it's, it's not the, like, I, I, I don't want to make, it, it's not my style. I don't want to tell that kind of stories. I, it's like, I love that movies. I love that kind of interesting uh, pe uh, uh, approach when directors approach to that kind of topics, but it's not my topic. That, uh, it's very hard for me to, to watch that kind of movie as an argument. With what Gore's saying, I think that I mean, there is this general issue of Armenian film genocide. And um, to tackle that uh, is something that, uh, you know, th these directors are very well known and they have support and everything. Um, it's not an easy thing to do, and it's not a quick thing to do. Um, to me, I think it's just as important for people like Gore to make films and, and be supported because uh, without the foundation of building up artists uh, that are Armenian, you're not gonna, I don't think you're gonna have uh, a great genocide film uh, come out of Hollywood or come out of uh, our community until we build that foundation. So then you have a great film like Clark Farm, which is coming out of a different country, and, uh, <coughs> they have a foundation which, as filmmakers, to be able to produce something like that. It'd be great to build that in the in our community, and the way to do that, I think, is by supporting every possible Armenian uh, venture in film. Uh, I just wanted to add, um, I said, like, for me, I feel right now I'm not, a, I'm not prepared to make a movie like that for, like, what color we need. I'm not prepared. If somebody gave me a topic in that position to make, I will refuse because I believe I, I wouldn't make what I believe right now. But uh, the most important thing that I learned from this movie is when I was showing in Buenos Aires to the Armenians, every Armenian that watched my film said, thank you for showing me this kind of movie because first time in our life, we watched an Armenian movie, instead of crying, we laughed. So, I believe that line, that was loaded, gave me more power. I mean, you know, uh, I would say, I will, I will bring uh, history in my movies, but I would like to uh, show you a different point of view, in a different angle. I don't know how Armenian genocide is going to work with comedy, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work, but uh, maybe we'll try it in the future. I think a few people said that to me as they were walking out today. That's very interesting. One of the interesting queries we get at ADAA, the Armenian Dramatic Arts Alliance, is people write into us and say, how come Armenians are always now being portrayed as mobsters in Hollywood? How come they're always like portrayed with a gun or they're in a gang or something? And it's, it's an interesting question because there's like there's the Armenian mob on the Shield, the program, and there was one, um, there was a, a, a series from Providence, Rhode Island that had the drug dealers that were Armenian, and they're like, why can't you do something about that? And I, I try to explain, there's nothing we can do about that. The only thing we can do is, as Michael was saying, to nurture artists and writers so that we can, you know, get into Hollywood and tell our own stories. And you know, whoever's writing those stories right now, there's no way we can stop these people. It's just about supporting our community so that then we can pick you know, the stories that we actually want to, to come out. So that's interesting. You had a question right there. Go ahead. Yeah, I just, first, um, I just wanted to um, make a, a good comment on what a great panel this is. I think Thank you very much. Uh, oh, great. I was happy to see Michael um, Gorgia because I saw your film Illusions last year and um, I thought it was one of the best films I had ever seen. I loved it. And Gore, I loved your casting. I wondered if you could tell us about 
but these were yeah. professional yeah. actors, or were some of them your friends? Or uh, <laughs> uh, uh, no, no. Uh, they became my friends, actually. <laughs> uh, the only friend who was playing the movie is uh, Lecho, the character Lecho. That's great. Uh, yeah. The short guy. The orange short guy, yeah. Uh, I, actually, I have, we have worked together for almost more than uh, 10 years. In the Los Angeles, we have a, a comedy troupe, and we do a, we had a TV show, and then we started doing stage comedy sketches for the Armenian community, and we worked with, with each other for almost ten years. And when I wrote the script, actually, most a lot of characters in the movie is based on people that I know in my own life, and Lecho is a real character. He lives in the Vendel. <laughs> He's my friend, and his name is Macho. <laughs> and David knows him too very well. So when David, uh, when I was writing the script, I put him in the movie, and then I was thinking who could play Macho, and David was the first uh, first person that came in my mind, and then I offered him uh, this this uh, you know role, and he packed his bags, left his wife, and came. <laughs> Pregnant wife. Let me do that thing. Uh, and came with me to Armenia to make the movie. And the other people, uh, the, most of the, there's some of some are famous actors uh, in Armenia. Like the dead guy is like, I could say like uh, Robert De Niro in Armenia. And yeah, he's the one of the famous Armenian actors. And the thing was that. Uh, he was, uh, he, I offered him a different role, and he was, he's very close to our family, he's very, a friend of my father. But uh, the thing was, he decided, he wanted to have the, uh, he wanted to do the voiceover in the movie. And then I said, if you're going to do the voiceover, he has to be the dead guy. He said, okay. And, uh, and most of the young actors never, never been shot, never been in front of the camera. Most of them were, uh, theater actors, like 85% of the movie are theater actors because they don't make much films in our movie, uh, hardly. They just started, they're like, I heard like this past five years they made three, four movies. So not, not a lot of actors have experience in front of the camera. But uh, when I did a casting, I, I was looking at specific characters, people who could portray the characters that they wrote, and I found them, and I'm really happy with the cast a lot because they help the movie a lot. I believe, I mean, writing something fun on the paper than saying it is totally different. Gore, you were also saying how much easier it was to make a movie in Armenia. Do you want to just expand on that a bit? I, the thing is, I believe making a movie itself is not easy. It's the hardest thing in life because. Uh, most most of us who make movies, uh, I bet like it took us more than two years, probably right, more than that, right? And uh, working on the same project more than two years, can you imagine seeing the same shots, hearing the same dialogue. I mean, it's not it's not very interesting after all, you know. So uh, for me, 